Yeah. But I, you know, speaking of bad guys, I wanted to bring this up uh, mm. and I wanted to pick your brain, Kyle, specifically. Mm. So I was thinking, like, I was going through and like Badger, I was like, fuck, I kind of like Cassandra Nova in Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, you know, she made a pretty compelling villain. Like, I, I, I knew where she was coming from. She was, she had you know, well acted, well deli- delivered lines. But what makes a good villain? Like, that it's not a throwaway or, yeah. What makes I need one having fun. I need a Simon Phoenix or a Cassandra Nova or a Joe, some a, one that doesn't uh-huh. really that's there for their own reasons. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because like, because like Thanos tried to sell you on why he was like, like Thanos tried to make you see that what he was doing was right. Cassandra, like Cassandra, was just like, I'm evil. So what? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <It was funny. laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, she she liked ruling over the void. And wanted to make everything the void, essentially. I love when Ryan said, "Why don't you just push that into being productive or or uh, get cancer like everyone else?" <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is. part of why I think what makes a great villain is their their intentions and their plan and what they're doing has to make sense. Mm. It has to make sense to us, not just within the context of the narrative. Verisimilitude. Okay. So yep. with Thanos, his intentions were not only understandable in terms of oh he's trying to create a balance to the universe that we can we agree with that intention but his actions are abhorrent when you look at what cassandra is doing it's muddled because the plot line kind of doesn't make sense and it's fast-tracked and contrived in a way that's just okay i'm letting this go the way it goes and i'm just gonna let it pass because all this other good shit that's happening with uh, these characters and hugh jackman's back but that's part of what has to line up with a great villain is it, their intentions, their actions have to make sense. And did it line up for us. you? Did, for did it line up for you uh, in this movie? No, no, I was really? confused. I was well, I, I was quite confused in terms of, in terms of the. I keep forgetting the the name of the. I keep wanting to say ATV T, yeah, TVA, TVA, but that's why you were TVA. confused, not because yeah. the characterization TVA. of her wasn't clear. It's because you didn't have the foundations because no one watched those goddamn D- Disney Plus shows. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I, I watched like the first two episodes and then I was done. Yeah. Uh, so the TVA, um, it, it, there's hmm, there's a lot of information I think they leave out that i didn't know about and i didn't really believe what what does that mean in terms of the the the, what does this timeline that doesn't have their their source their anchor what that's the first time i've ever heard of that because it's the first time they made that shit up but it just means that that universe is going to slowly decay it normally takes a couple thousand years bro but why paradox is agent smith why i don't know why does any of this why are there infinity stones why is that's what i mean it's contrived right but eventually you get to a because it's a fucking comic book that's but, why. But, no, hold on. It, it, you can come up with that, but it still has but to make sense. More it, it's need. the same reason what I'm Every talking about. What a villain is doing something, it has to make sense to the audience. Why? Here's why, Kyle. Because everything is actually a simulation. We only have so much broad. Uh, uh, you're, so you're, you're eventually, going to the, you're so going eventually, to the bombastic. And, so eventually, oh we have God. to have anchor beans. And when they die, we let that simulation slowly pass away. But Paradox didn't want to wait for that. He wanted to speed it up, which is why he had the time. It's the whole fucking thing. It's eventually, how much do we, does this need? to be explained exactly and you the know, issue I, kind of, why does our universe are die, you defending Kyle? it or are you yeah, just Kyle. like waving no it away? i'm defending it because it's one of those things yeah. you don't even understand the shit and you're going yeah. into minutia and Kyle, i think that's a cop out hey kyle bro so look right so look so at the end of a freaking loki season two right loki as you saw right he's holding every universe he's keeping the multiverse alive right and yeah. so basically bro paradox was just trying to just kill all of the freaking worlds again bro or it, because it is the same thing that happens over and over and over and over you know what i mean and so basically i mean that's the whole entire story no it's a cop hey kyle explain why our freaking universe is gonna die from heat death and it keeps expanding can you explain that and then i'll explain why the fictional fucking woman superheroes like what are we talking about here bro Climate the tva change? is the time like variance authority beam, they prune like rogue beam. timelines this one, when it lost its anchor being was gonna die and the guy in charge with it didn't want to be in charge with it for a thousand years wanted to speed it up 
You said Deadpool? yourself that the anchor being is this thing that they pulled out of their ass that you never heard, but you're talking about it as if it's this business thing this whole time. Because I'm a nerd and I could very easily adjust the canon. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a Star yeah. Wars fan who for decades has fucking had nice. to explain away every little You want me yeah. to now explain to you why I had to explain away bleeding of lightsaber crystals? That's what we do. So the yeah. anchor being that was just made up for Deadpool. That wasn't in Loki because these two yeah, gentlemen saw it in the so, comics. I've never fucking heard yeah, of anchor so, beings yeah. before. So, um, yeah, really so, funny. so the thing is that the anchor being is the new multiversal rule. Now that you know, now that we Loki have all these holding different... everything okay. in his hands, you know, like that's that that's like the new rule. And so, like, and then I see so many people saying that that you know Tony was anger being, which is definitely not true. Isn't it strange? I thought someone saying it was Doctor Strange. I definitely would have yeah. given. I, I think given. I have a theory. Stark that I mean, being wrong. Jerry, what's your theory? So my theory is that an anchor being has to be a mutant because I don't think an anchor being is something you become, and I can't imagine you're an anchor being before you have superpowers. That would be kind of stupid, and a mutant would be born with it. Plus, we only know of one anchor being so far, and it's a mutant. Wolverine. So I think it's a mutant. And the other thing, two things that led me to this theory was number one. Feige said that this movie, if this, if Infinity War is a nine and Endgame is a ten, this movie is an eight in terms of how impactful it is to the future of the MCU. Mm -hmm. And he also said Deadpool and Wolverine is the beginning of the mutants era. So I think an anchor being has to be a mutant. That's what I mean. Okay, so this is what I mean in terms of calling someone an anchor being. What does that mean? Okay, to me it makes more sense. Stephen, you're talking about making Tony Stark. Or bringing that up as a possibility that makes sense in terms of the impact that he had on the in the universe logan w had these in context to the other stories he didn't have a huge impact in terms of the rest of the world logan yeah, wasn't sure. that he wasn't his universe's anchor being that's why you can take jerry's that, that's fine that's very fine but we don't know exactly what an anchor being is yeah. just that they exist yeah and, and, and like, that you apparently you can replace them if they turn into the exact like same virtuous copy of whatever the original was. Yeah. And Kyle, and Kyle, Good like, point. And, and Kyle, there was another rumor that's been going around, and I don't know how true this is now that everything's changed because everything changes every freaking day. But yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's, it's literally covering this stuff is stressful. But, um, but there was a rumor going around that each anger being was going to be like picked out and that they were going to use each anger being to create this new rebooted universe. Like, so like this whole and before anchor being they were called chosen ones or something like that so they're obviously changing something up with, with like all of this chosen I mean, so it's gonna be it's gonna be the biggest people like reed richards professor x uh dr strange spider-man logan i'd also I love know. if it was just some random motherfucker named bob <laughs> <laughs> no but so like so so you're right badger what the fuck does that mean what is an anchor being I, what is their purpose who are they chosen you may never mention it again by the I, way Kyle. Uh, that's the thing you may just never hear about it again well i understand the okay i understand the, the, the like the idea of it but it wasn't explained in the way you would think that deadpool would be like what the fuck does that even mean right and you can't i, can, wait, I just wait, don't can, think it was the movie like you know what i'm saying like uh, it, it, I know what you're saying, but I just okay. Don't think yeah, that that's what, what that's get. what I mean. Yeah, like, I just like, don't think what, what if what if it was be okay? So because Logan died, yeah. they imply that he died <laughs> prematurely. What if they had a moment of dialogue where he said he wasn't supposed to? He was meant for something bigger, but that didn't happen. It was taken away. And therefore, the timeline started dying. I, right. It might just be a natural thing. Logan died in the Logan movie, and he was the anchor being of that world, which we find out Deadpool is in or whatever, uh -huh. right? And that just, when you go, well, what the fuck does that mean? It just means that now, over a period of thousands of years, it starts to burn out. So it's natural reason. that a universe yeah, would die away. Yes, okay. but, which is natural in ours. Let, Paradox let me, is yes. in charge of overseeing that, and he doesn't want right. to wait that fucking long. Right, right. So I want to get into that. Why the fuck is okay. he trying to? Like, he's the saying TV, he, he, he doesn't want to wait around and do the work, you. but that is Kyle, that's his I was job. Explaining to you. The Time Variance Authority came into existence. I know it's in the comics, but whatever. In the MCU, they made it so that we find out it's actually Kang, the last Kang, and that he created this whole fucking thing to prune away any timeline where one of his variants would show up. That's what the sacred timeline is. It's a fucking uh, timeline with no Kangs. That being said, 
he killed himself and gave Loki control of the TVA. So now the sacred timeline is whatever that variant of Loki decides. And when someone in the chat was like, who are these people and why did they show up there? They've all mm -hmm. been pruned or touched with the little glowy sticks that send them to that variant, sending them there from these timelines that are either shouldn't exist or are about avoid. to die. Yeah, it's convoluted as fuck. It's all, yeah. just a plot twist to get people together or rid of them. Is how is this going to coincide with the incursions because yeah. now like that's where I'm really confused. Oh, X-Men versus uh, Avengers is supposed to be the, the one that we keep hearing about. I keep hearing about is supposed to be what they're building towards that Monica Rambo and beast at the end of the Marvels are in the same yeah, world exactly. as Deadpool and yeah. the new that's Wolverine. Kind of what Stevie's been saying. And that's and leading to, but th that was old news. I don't know if they're still doing it, but it well, be, but that's hard to not do so that. much to do yes. the fantastic it four. Is. I know X-Men versus Avengers. I know secret wars. It would yes. just be, insane and, and after the reset it would be you know listen i read a lot of comics basically. and the one thing i never like is when a comic like the finale of an arc becomes so big there are so many characters and the story didn't earn it it just feels cheap and it feels like a tactic and it never lands whoa, whoa, and, whoa, whoa. okay whoa 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 jerry bro read but, dan slot any dan yeah, slot comic but, and like but, most bro, of them are like that. even avengers versus x I mean, like do you really think like do you like they're not going to bring yeah, back yeah. Yeah. Nah, like, fired. like i think on. they'd very quickly be teaming up against something you know an incursion will be perfect for for them to you know battle the, the yeah. other thing is by the way with uh, uh, things like avengers versus x game and secret wars is MCU, when they use a story, it's never a direct adaptation. You have <clears throat> movies like Infinity War, where in the comics, it's actually Adam Warlock who defeats Thanos. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. different. And then you huh. have stories like Secret Invasion, where Feige told the people who made it, don't even oh. read the comics because this has nothing to do with it. And whether you like Secret Invasion or not, which no one really does. I was going to say, I'm, bro, who does? Yeah. yeah. But the, <laughs> that's, the what they're, uh, to, that's what they're making coming up. No, uh, no, no, it's no. out. On secret, out. secret wars. Oh. Secret wars. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, yeah. Is, there we go. If they do Avengers versus X Men, I don't think it's going to be so tightly based on the comics. I think they'll take some pieces. Secret Loose. wars. I, I also think Secret Wars is is going to take some things from some Secret Wars and some things from others because. I always thought they were going to use Hickman's because Hickman's is the best, and I think I mean, anyone. There, there was also the nineties. There was also the 90s animated uh, Spider-Man cartoon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Secret Wars. Yeah, okay, so yeah. With, yeah. with the X-Men. But, yeah. But, yeah. but when the Russos came out and said, we're doing Secret Wars, they said it's based, they basically said that their, it's based on their favorite comic that they read as a kid, which is obviously the OG 1984 Secret Wars. So they got so much with work the to do. Her? Oh, they were trying uh, to say that uh, to see the they might make I know the Beyonder a Kang variant, and that that is how they would address it. Okay. They would say that the Beyonder is a Kang variant, and that the Beyonder just got rid of them all, or some yeah. dumb shit like that. Stevie had that theory from day one. Well, Stevie, Stevie boy, you right. 